that is the sound of brakes that need to be replaced. So today we're going to be doing exactly that. Let's get to it. So this is going to be split into two separate videos. I'm going to be doing the brakes on all four wheels. So in today's video, we'll be doing the rear brakes and in ideally the next video, we'll be doing the front brakes. Now I say ideally because in the front we're going to be doing more than just swapping the pads and rotors like we're going to be doing in the rear. In the front we're going to be upgrading to the aero brakes which means we're going to have to do a lot more work. It's going to be a lot more time consuming and a lot more difficult. So with that being said, I figure we should go ahead and get started. If you guys missed my last video, I painted a spare grill that I had to match my Turbo X wheels. Make sure to check that out when you're done watching this video up here in the top corner. Shit, that didn't work. Let's try that again. In the back here, I always use this tow hook to jack it up. The car's all jacked up, but look at what I just realized. I'm so lucky. I parked the car back a little bit further than I should have. Look at how close it is to the garage. Ooh. First thing we're gonna do is pop this clip off right here. Got one on the bottom as well. So both of these guide pins are seven millimeter of this. So we're gonna get both of those loose right now. Before we take it the whole way out, I'm gonna start on the bottom one. Same thing. Once you get them to a certain point, they're not gonna come out anymore by screwing. So you just gotta pull it out by hand the rest of the way. Once again, same thing for the bottom. Do any side work? Uh, not really, just my own stuff. So that guy just pulled up and saw that I was uh, working on my car and he's like, hey, you wanna do my brakes for me? I'll pay you. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I struggle enough doing my own work. Slowly gonna come off. Whew. And then, as I've always been told to do, hang the caliper up somewhere. It's not all. Not a bunch of strain on the, uh, on the brake lines. Whew. So the front pads actually weren't too bad. Still had a good amount of life on them. Rear pads, however, or I should say the pads on the back side, you can feel the grooves in them. Feel the grooves in the front side as well. So they definitely weren't great. Next step is to take this little key out or whatever it's called. There's a specific term for it. This is a T30 Torx bit. Probably help if I had the T30 Torx bit on there. So before we even start thinking about putting anything back on, we're going to take a wire brush and try and get away all this or not all of it, but some of this corrosion here that's on this uh, hub. So you have your new pads, obviously much, much better. Uh, this pad or the pad that has the clip on it is the one that's going to go in the rear so you can go ahead and set it in there but what you should do first is put some grease right in here and right up here so that way it can slide a little bit easier like a dummy i didn't wear gloves so uh hands are just about to get even more dirty I'm gonna put some of this disc brake quieter on the back of the pads as there's a massive diesel truck coming up the street for whatever reason. So that way they don't squeal and vibrate when we're on them. So this one says avoid contact with skin. So I'm gonna make sure to uh, 
put gloves on now. I guess never too late. Also, we probably put a little bit too much on, but you know, that's all good. It'd be nice to have the uh, pads in the right direction so I could have more working brakes when I'm done with this. Make sure everything lines up. Now let's put this little T30 back in. So now we've got the uh, caliper compressor. I actually got this from AutoZone. Fun fact, I didn't really know you could rent tools from AutoZone, but it's actually free. Of course, you have a core deposit you gotta put down, but fun fact, yeah, you can uh, rent tools like this from AutoZone. We're just going to uh, compress the piston here so we can put it back around. Now we can put the caliper back over here. So now we have both our guide pins. We're going to put some grease on these so that way they're a little bit smoother. We're gonna clean them up and then we're gonna put them back in. Of course, can't forget the uh, rubber caps go on the back here. All right guys, so there you have it. Of course, afterwards you're gonna wanna check, make sure you got everything done. Bleed the brakes as well if you need to. But there you have it. That was a pretty simple rear brake job. The same cannot be said, however, for the front, which you guys should be seeing in my next video. So with that being said, I'm gonna go do the other rear rotor and pad now, and I figure that's not worth filming the same thing twice over. So catch you guys in the next one where uh, hopefully this aero brake upgrade is complete on the front. <laughs>